I'm Pavel from Gold Knights and I'm going to show you the RPG system for our upcoming games called Last Oricru. We have the RPG system very heavily based on the items and what we will focus on today are mainly the weapons. We have the main three attributes that define the weapons that you can wear. It's a strength, dexterity and intellect and the balance between them defines which weapons you can use. We have uh, dexterity weapons, one-handed curved sword or the spears. So you can see here this required 25 uh, dexterity versus 10 strength and the spear required 19 dexterity versus uh, 8 strength only. Then we have a uh, balance. This is like one handed sword, it's like 7-7 seven, seven, and two handed sword is 16-16. Then we have strong builds, which are the axes for one hand and pole arms for two hands. And then we have very strong builds and that's uh, two handed hammers. This is like 21 to seven. Two handed weapons are simply much stronger and usually faster than one-handed weapons because you're holding them with both hands and you already have big disadvantage of not having the shield or any supporting item that help you with the fight. So therefore I build it in the way that you can be going much, much, much faster and attack much more, but if you do something wrong or you do mistake, you, uh, the damage is much higher for you. And two-handed weapons, as they have four actions, uh, primary action is a one attack, secondary action is a strong attack, but you can use, instead of parry, you can use this spell that will freeze an enemy. And if you freeze him, then you can hit him. Most of the two and hammers have this spell. Plus we have the intellect. So we have, of course, only weapons that require intellect, but we also combine those attributes. So some weapons can cast magic without having requirement for intellect. For example, this serrate opener will give you a primary attack as a physical, but the secondary attack, as you can see on the screen, is a fire buff and now my damage is higher for the fire, especially to the enemies that are vulnerable to the fire, give much more damage. There are items that uh, are for support, typically orbs, so I can have the healing orb, I can cast myself a heal. So you can find all different variations of the weapons and you can have them as a build. So as you will progress in the game, the main difference to the, any other game that I saw so far is that every item that you will find, if it's have higher damage, it's progressing a lot, it requires more attributes. So the game is intent that you will during the game change the weapons at least once, usually two or three times during the playthrough, and uh, you will need to level up accordingly your build but we have a feature that help you to play with the attributes and those are rings and those rings allow you to transfer different attributes between each other so you cannot increase the attribute by any ring but you can transfer to intelligence to dexterity so if you start the game and you invest into something and then you find uh, for example nice sword and you want to test it but you don't have enough attributes but you have attributes that you will not use for this sword in the intellect you can transfer them with the rings so temporary for to the strength and uh, until you could equip that ring you will be able to use that sword and if you don't like it you can switch back and you can transfer attribute back from the strength to the intelligence and so on this have a nice feature which is that you as a player start with all the attributes to be 555 and uh, with those rings you can take the attributes below the five so you can go down to the one so for example, with the rings, I can transfer four strength and four dexterity to the intellect. So I get plus eight and that's a lot. It's like eight levels. So if you cleverly use the rings, you can transfer attributes to the another and go below the five and be much stronger than you would be in that level. Also, we have an upgrade system. You can dismantle existing items that are not anymore usable for you because uh, those items have to load stats and they will not give you enough damage. So you can simply sell them or dismantle them. I would suggest you to definitely dismantle some of them so you have enough materials to upgrade because the upgrades give you a lot of bonuses. As our system is very heavily oriented for the items and it's progressive, which means that you need to increase your strength dex or intellect to get better items, the upgrade system also requires you to increase the attributes of the character if you upgrade the item. If I point here on this serrate opener, you can see that uh, on first level, actual level here in the column, I have 10 uh, strength and 6 dexterity. But if I upgrade this item plus 1, my damage will increase by 54, but my requirements are increased from 10 to 11 on strength and 
to 7 from 6 on dexterity. This will increase the lifespan of the item. So I definitely suggest you to upgrade the items to all plus 3 because this will give you the most higher damage that you can have in the whole game. But you need to be aware of the fact that if you don't have enough attributes for example for the weapon your damage will slowly decrease but on the spells you have to have all the requirements at least. So if you go over the items you can see like for example this orb of protection have two spells and it have additional two more load. So we have here quite full system of uh, additional effects that are helping you in the game very 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 much. Most of the effects are hidden under the sets of the items. So if you page here in the inventory you can see that this item is part of the set. The indication is already here on the screen, here on the right. You can see which items are required for the sets and if you switch to the set screen you see the whole set, what you require, what you have in the inventory, what is missing and what you are already wearing and this is the bonuses of that set. So if you wear all these red mage items you will get those bonuses. This is all from the game. I hope you will enjoy it because I really think it's something interesting. I really like how the game is progressing and you can very easily, if you understand the RPG system, you can very easily go through the game and focus on the story. Bye.